In this video we're going to have a look at editing the raw footage you've shot. Now on the 650D uh, and the 700D it's a little bit different from other cameras like the 5D, Mark II, III and even the 600D in that the fo focusing system leaves some um, dots uh, and some other artifacts in the footage which we have to remove first. So there's a couple of extra steps we need to take. So let's have a look at that now. In this video we'll have a look at editing or the extra steps you've got to take when you're editing footage from the 650D or 700D Rebel cameras. And all the other steps are the same as the 5D Mark III or, or the other Magic Lancer output, raw output from other cameras. But the 650D and 700D is, a, is, a, is an issue. I'll show you a screenshot from um, uh, some raw footage I took on my 650D. You might be able to see there there's, there's these uh, uh, pink and some also some green dots appear in the image. This is where the focusing areas are and they have to be dealt with first before you can do the other steps. What we'll do now, we'll actually open up MLV Sharp. This is the viewer which will allow us to view it and I'll have a look at some footage I shot on the 650D and here's the footage. Uh, now as you see I scroll through you can see even on the thumbnail there you can see the those pink dots appearing. So what you need to do, you need to use some software to get rid of those uh, dots uh, first and uh, there's also green dots there as well. So what we're going to use for that, I got my software folder here and there's a utility called Pink Dot Remover. I've shown um, on the uh, details of the video how you can download that. And if you double click that to open it, the screen comes up. You can see there you can choose the, make sure you've chosen 650D. And I'm going to add files. I'm going to add in the uh, file I want to add in. And it's this one here. And once you've got that in there, you simply convert the files. Just note there, you want to keep your original, um, make sure you've got a backup copy of it. it tells you that now. I'm just, I have already got a backup, backup copy of mine, so I'm just going to convert it now. And that doesn't appear to be doing anything, we've just got to wait. That will notify us shortly that it's uh, finished the conversion. You can see there, all files have been converted. So hopefully now, if we look at the file again, in ML Browse Sharp. You can see now the dots uh, have disappeared. Now that works pretty effectively. If you can't, if it doesn't get rid of everything, there, uh, there is another utility you can uh, use as well which I would uh, recommend using. When you convert your files to, as we saw in the other video, when you convert the raw file to DNG, you can use the raw to DNG um, conversion utility. The designer of that, he's done another couple of uh, ones. This is an ongoing development to try and uh, make the raw footage much better at coming out of 650 and 700D. You can try to use either of these ones. This one um, also does some of the spot removal as well and this one also does a little bit of noise removal as well. You see the noise can be an issue in the 650D and 700D raw output and um, I'll show you another way of getting rid of that as well afterwards. But first of all what I would recommend then doing when you're converting the files to um, DNG is to use this utility here to, to try and also uh, get rid of any extra um, artifacts uh, and as much noise as you can at this stage. So to do that, I'm going to just make sure I go into my 650D folder and I go into the raw folder there. That's the file. We've already applied the pink dots removal. I'm just going to um, put in a folder here for DNG because it's going to produce a lot of files. And I'm going to put my raw in there and I'm just going to then drag that and put it over the 
Roll to Denji with the uh, noise removal as well. And you see it's starting to work there through the frames. And that's finished there. And you can see we've got the DNG now files all here. And I'm going to open them in Bridge. It's the same. This part is the same as for the other video, but I just want to show you that the uh, dots are missing now. And you can see the frames there. I've opened this one up in Camera Raw, for example, out of the DNG files there. The uh, um, dots, the pink and the green dots, have gone. Okay, the problem with a lot of the raw footage I found, I shoot anyway on the 650D, and this, I think this, what I've read, this also applies to 700D, is there seems to be an awful lot of noise in it. Um, I've got a clip here, I'll just quickly run it. This is as it comes um, out of Premiere Pro with no, um, nothing done to dealt with the noise. It's coming through the standard uh, raw editing process. And there's a lot of noise in it, you can see everywhere in the picture. Um, and this is then, I've just applied neat video just even using the basic settings in the video in Premiere Pro and it's much better. So my opinion is you probably do need to use um, noise reduction software. I use neat, vid neat to video. So I've just got my clip in here, you can see. It's fairly straightforward to use. Software you have to pay for, but it's definitely worth getting. And um, I'll just drag that over there. And then we'll see it's now in the uh, apply to the video. And Let's do an auto profile there, it's selected uh, area and it's very hard to see in this particular shot but it is there, there's an awful lot of noise and in the static shot you can't really see what too much what it does but so if you really are serious about doing RAW on the 650D my own opinion is you probably do need to use something like Neat Video. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you found that useful.